Good afternoon, Raven County. This is Roger Glenn coming to you today from Julep Farms. Yes, sir. And we're here with uh, Rick Weaver. He and his wife, Lauren, are the owner operators. We are. Rick, for all the folks out there that don't know where you are, let's start with the really difficult one. Where are you located? Uh, our address, uh, north, uh, very north end of the county, 500 Highway 246 in Dillard. So uh, turn it to Chevron, basically heading up to Highlands, and we are uh, a quarter mile on the right. Yep. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. How long have you been here? Uh, we purchased the land uh, right around uh, almost three years ago. And so uh, the restaurant opened just over a year ago, right before uh, a few current events uh, began to happen. <laughs> I've heard about that. Yes, yeah, something going on. Yeah, that's all right. We're fighting back now. Absolutely. And you've got 22 acres here. 22 acres. Uh, and what we've done is kind of a, it's a modern farm resort. So that's kind of our, our tag, you know, tagline, if you will. Uh, a little bit of Kentucky, you know, where, where the word julep comes from is, you know, I don't know if anyone's had a bad time while drinking a mint julep. <laughs> and so uh, julep, we wanted to kind of encapsulate that feel because it was just green, rolling, beautiful, uh, with a little bit of Nantucket, a little bit of Napa. So my wife is the designer and decorator and uh, she really knew what she wanted for the space. It's almost having walked around today as if every detail has been curated by, by we a full professional. We stay pretty busy, yes. Yeah, you do. And so um, you mentioned the restaurant. What else do you have that's part of, part of the farm? So the restaurant, uh, the building that we're in right now with the view in the back is uh, the social house, we call it. So this is where people come to meet. Uh, we're sitting at, at our bar, Julep Bar, uh, includes Julep Market, which has, you know, home furnishings and some jewelry and some just candles and candy and just kind of a little bit of everything, but a really neat experience in the shop. There's also coffee uh, and, and, and you know, coffee drinks up front. Uh, uh, bar, restaurant, event room. So we do events up to, uh, we've got a room that'll hold 200, uh, can hold more with outside with tents. A lot of different configurations on how to have different events. And so that room, uh, like I said, holds around 200, but can be broken up for smaller parties as well. Yeah. And then kind of the one of the, the last components of it is our cottages, which you see behind us. Uh, today we have four that sleep a total of 16. And so we've got two two bedrooms and two one bedrooms. Uh, and I would say the last thing really is just the experience, the grounds. And so our, our animals, we've got uh, Miniature sheep, we've got miniature ponies. There's a theme here, right? Uh, we've got about 40 laying hens that produce beautiful rainbow, different, you know, lots of different colored eggs. Yes. Uh, a couple of great Pyrenees, cats everywhere. And then our newest addition is a miniature Scottish Highland bull, uh, which you saw earlier. Uh, his name is Ferris and he's super cool. So, again, just, you know, a day at the farm, but I guess we're an upscale farm, is what we're calling it. Absolutely. And what about? activities and things like that for kids. I know it's the winter right now, so the weather is not conducive to some of this, but. what well, I'd say one of the neat things about it is that mom and dad can come, you know, uh, some, they can shop, they can, you know, eat and drink, and, you know, do lots of things. And there are areas for the kids, you know, down by our chicken coop, we have a green where we do things like movie night. You know, some kids, you know, there, there's games out there, cornhole and, you know, ladder toss and different things like that. And then in season, we'll have special events where we'll have live music out there. Again, once we're able to have more of a crowd, hopefully by then we'll start being able to have you know, more crowds and closer together, if you will. Uh, but either DJs or theme nights, 80s night, 90s night, um, movie night. So just some really cool things. And the barn that I showed you, the blue barn, um, we'll do cooking classes and things like that. So again, we love we love throwing parties. I'm from New Orleans, so I uh, never met a party I didn't like. Uh, but we, we want to do some cool stuff where it's not just, you know, that's why we didn't just do a restaurant. You know, we had a restaurant previously, and we wanted, I guess we wanted to do more. Yeah. What about somebody that wants to picnic here? Can, can you do that? So uh, where we find ourselves today in the global pandemic has, has driven a lot of change, a lot of, you know, being able to adapt to current, you know, what's going on. Um, so we do have plan for this spring and, and you know through the season to be able to have call ahead picnics. So go online, go on an app. I want this, 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 and this, and I want to pick this spot. And
can show up at 12.30 and everything's there ready for you. So kind of a cool, you know, little, you know, again, we're just trying to do unique things. Yeah, and you actually do room service to the cottages, we correct? Do. We do, Yeah, what about some plans for, for the future? What, what other things are, are people gonna see under construction here or in development? So uh, we really don't ever stop. Uh, I guess both my wife and I, our brains just kind of keep going. What can we do next? Uh, we do have plans for about 12 more cottages over time. We're not in a hurry to do those, but we will. Uh, they're on the master plan. Um, adding more cover and different heating elements to our outdoor space, you know, that was in a phase two plan. And we had to kind of, you know, we've got one right here now that we added basically now because of COVID. So more outdoor, more dependable outdoor seating. Yeah, very nice. Um, what are the things that you're most proud of and, and sort of when you describe what the experience is that you're trying to give people when they when they come here? I, I think when we rolled into town, you know, we had just sold our restaurant and we had um, to keep the, the funds working for us. We had to invest it. So, <laughs> and, and we were driving up to Highlands running out of time on a tax exchange and drove by this land and Scott had a sign got paused sitting there almost like it was a sign oh. <laughs> and my wife had me lock the brakes up there was an old fence and an old gate and we pulled up to it there were horses running around this is you know again the Dillard's horse farm a backup horse farm and 30 days later we owned it and we had a decent idea of what we were going to do but it certainly was not in stone uh, we are not the types to just do one little thing like yeah let's throw some cottages you know we did seven things uh, effectively at once so Super proud of what we developed and what we built here, the vision, uh, and, and the way that we're executing. You know, we've got a good staff right now. Our chef is fantastic. You know, we hang our hats on, on our food and, and the experience. So it's a, it's a Highland experience, but, but in the valley. You know, the Highlands folks can come down here. Clayton can come and not have to go to Highlands or as much. So it's kind of a central meeting spot is what we're finding. And, you know, again, I, I haven't met anyone mad while sipping a mint julep. So. <laughs> it's a feel, you know, it's just a feel while you're on the farm. Yeah. Well, Rick, thanks for uh, sitting down and talking with us today no and problem. sharing a little bit about the farm and its inception and kind of where the future direction is. Folks, if you haven't been out, it's a beautiful property, uh, a lot to see inside and out, very tastefully done, beautiful views of the, the near range mountains with a lot of promise. So. Definitely a gem for Raven County to have you here. So whether you're local or you've got friends or family that are going to be in town, great place to, to come show them uh, all the best things that uh, Raven County has to offer. Uh, if there are other businesses that are interested in being interviewed like we did today with Julep Farms and, and the Weavers, uh, feel free to contact me or Laura and we would love to do a future feature um, on your business or your organization. Uh, for the Park Bench Raven County website. Rick, thank you again. Thanks for the problems. Thanks, everyone.